Monique here, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am having a wonderful day, very productive day at work, getting a lot of stuff done, and that always feels good. And of course, look at that sky, isn't that pretty? I love the blue sky in the wintertime, really love it in the wintertime. I love it anytime, but the wintertime, it just makes you feel better about winter. <laughs> Um, it makes the snow look prettier somehow, or maybe the snow makes the sky look prettier. I'm not sure which, but I am happy to see that beautiful blue sky. Um, my mic has been making a lot of crazy noises when I wear my jacket, so I've taken my jacket off, and I just want to check my sound to make sure I'm not making too many crackly noises, so I'll be right back. Okay, everything sounded good. <laughs> um, a lot of times I forget to check my sound, and then when I go into edit, the sound might be crazy. Like my sometimes my mic is banging against my zipper or rubbing against my jacket, and it's so annoying. And there's nothing I can do about it because when I edit my car chat videos, I've usually been home for a while. It's usually like six o'clock in the evening. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to run out to the car in the dark and do another car chat. So. I'm glad I remembered today. So, okay, I'm always saying, look for the beauty in every day, right? I mean, that, that's like my thing. <laughs> I love to look for the beauty in every day and show you pictures of the beautiful things I've seen in my day. But sometimes the beauty in your day shows up in your mailbox and you didn't even know it was coming. It's a complete surprise. And that's what happened to me yesterday because I got some happy mail yesterday. I got happy mail from Emmy, one of my yarn friends, one of my yarny girls. And I didn't even know it was coming and I was so touched. I was rendered speechless, which is unusual for me. <laughs> I, have, I have very rarely been speechless. So anyway, Emmy, and Emmy has her own little logo. Isn't that so cute? Dash of Disdain by Emmy. I just love that. Look at those little, those little hooks on that little coffee mug or tea mug. You want to see the rest of this stuff? She's so sweet. She shouldn't have done it. She shouldn't have done it, but I'm not going to complain. Look, tea. Vanilla caramel, oh, that sounds decadent, and organic African nectar. So that's exciting. I'm parked somewhere different today. I'm parked actually near the dog park. So maybe I'll see some dogs. Ooh, this guy is coming in in his Rubicon, his Jeep Rubicon. It's a good weather for it. Okay, so I won't show you the inside of the card, but I will show you the outside of the card because it's too cute. Today's plan, consume chocolate and be awesome, which Emmy is. Happy mail from Emmy. Even says so, look. Happy mail from Emmy. What else is in here? She put little notes on everything. So there's this cute little like ornament. And she put a little note on it, local landmark prominently featured in one of my favorite tattoos, which I actually knew what this landmark was. It's a sculpture of a, like a bent spoon with a cherry on it in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then look at this cute little stitch marker. It's a little gummy bear. Which is so cute. Candy. I'm starting to think Emmy knows me pretty well. Oh, and then this was Emmy's favorite quote on a sticker. And I'll just read it to you. She was powerful, not because she wasn't scared, but because she went on so strongly despite the fear. Emmy, I can totally see why that's your favorite quote. That's a good one. 
and and this is too much but Emmy knew I was dying to try a furls hook and she sent me one speechless Emmy I'm absolutely speechless I can't believe you did this a furls odyssey hook I haven't used it yet but I can already like you know kind of feel it in my fingers because I hold my hook like a pencil so I'm excited to try it Emmy I don't know I don't know what to say to you you shouldn't have but I'm glad you did I could put it all in my Emmy bag Thank you, Emmy, from the bottom of my heart. That was too much, too sweet. Very sweet. Okay, I will set that aside and show you what I did all day on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday was a snow day, um, and normally I go to work on snow days, but um, I often say that snow makes me sick. And I take a sick day, which is okay. It's, it's not something that's unusual where I work. A lot of people that normally would go to work on snow days, you know, when the snow's really bad, they'll take a sick day, use a sick day. And I did. And while I stayed home, I didn't leave the house once. I finished a baby blanket. I worked on this baby blanket for 12 straight hours. I just love it. I love, love, love how it came out. I um, had been making the squares for a little while, maybe a week or two, and I was using um, Red Heart Roll With It Tweed, and the colorway is Beach House. So um, I had three cakes of that, and it made, I want to say, 30 six or 39 squares. I ended up with three extra squares. So there are three squares that I didn't incorporate into the blanket. And then I trimmed it with um, Premier Basics just in white. And I used a different method than I normally use. I've never used a join as you go, continuous join as you go. Um, and so I really liked it. I really liked joining my squares with that method. I found it on YouTube. Um, it's uh, Hooked by Robin. Pretty sure it's Hooked by Robin is the name of the channel um, that did the tutorial. So anyway, I love how it turned out for my new baby niece. Honestly, she's already, <laughs> she's already got a dress, a bonnet, um, I want to say three baby blankets <laughs> and, um, she's not even due until May. So <laughs> this could get really, really crazy before the end. Um, my nephew and his wife are also having a baby and that's a little boy baby. And I think I'll need to make some more stuff for him. He's got a baby blanket and a baby bonnet so far, but I don't know. We'll see. I have to make him some more stuff too. Sorry about all the noise. I'm rattling, rattling things around a lot. So I've been working on that and then I'm almost done with the hat. I've been diligently working on it. I'm trying to get to where I have no whips and I'm getting close. I think this is actually my last whip. Now I do have a few UFOs, which if you don't know the acronyms, UFOs, yes, they're those things in the sky that people can't seem to identify, but also UFOs are unfinished objects. So I do have a few unfinished objects that for whatever reason, um, I just decided not to finish. Oh, here comes a guy with a little white dog and there's another car over there and they've got a big brown dog. And they're going to go into the dog park with their dogs and they're going to get together and they'll say, what was that lady in the parking lot doing? She's talking to herself or what? Anyway, here's the hat. It's almost done. So, making progress. 
Oh, here comes the dog to greet his friend. He's so happy. I wonder if they know each other. He's so excited. Aw. I love dogs. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's like hopping and jumping through the snow. Actually, I think it's a little girl dog because she's got a pink collar. Oh, they're so excited to see each other. We should be more like dogs. We really should. We should be more like dogs. Dogs live in the moment. They don't worry about the future. They don't really worry too much about the past. Unless it was completely traumatic. They pretty much let stuff go. Yeah. We need to live like dogs. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, um... So I think I've kept you going here for about 10 minutes. So it's probably enough of my, my um, chatter for you for one day. <clears throat> I will put some pictures in at the end of the video, um, like I usually do, because I took some really, really beautiful pictures at the park. Um, I want to say it was Saturday. I don't know it seems so long ago but it really wasn't but my husband and I took a walk down at the park because it was a, a day like this where the sky was just so blue and I said let's get out of the house let's breathe some fresh air let's um take some pretty pictures down by the water and um he didn't want to do it at first he wanted to stay home and take a nap um but in the end he decided to come with me and I think he was glad he did so yeah, that's all I've got. I hope that you guys are doing great. Um, we are into February now. So we are getting through the winter together. And, um, oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you about. So some of you know that I do yoga every morning. And um, the, the uh, Cassandra is her name, the yogi. Cassandra always gives us an affirmation to think about while we're practicing our yoga and also to carry with us throughout the rest of the day. So I thought it would be kind of neat if I started writing my affirmations down and I found this cute little dry erase board um, and it's got a different section um, for the week. So like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then there's a different section. So it's kind of like you could do a to-do chart on it or, you know, keep track of things. But I thought I'll write my affirmations on it. And um, something about writing things down, things like affirmations or things you want to manifest for your future. I think there's power in writing it down. I don't know. I could be completely bonkers. But to me, if I write something down, it just kind of makes it more of a firm commitment, if that makes sense. So at any rate, I write down my affirmations every morning. So I thought I would put a little picture, and I'll put it in here somewhere, of my affirmation chart. And um, yeah, I just think it was kind of fun and kind of neat. So some of the affirmations are I don't know, some of them don't really apply to me as much is others, but still they're good. Like there's one about healing. My healing process has already begun or something like that. And I didn't particularly feel like I needed a healing process, but who knows? It's still kind of neat. So anyway, that was my last little thing to share. Um, hope to see you on Saturday at Yarn Hookers. We are going to be at Ginger's channel this week. So Yarn Geek um, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we will be live and we are going to be talking about things you can make for your sweetheart for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So that was kind of a tricky one um, for me. I kind of struggled with it. Hmm, what could I crochet my sweetheart that he'd appreciate? So you can check out all of the things that I have on my little list and what Melanie's got on her list and what Ginger's got on her list this Saturday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Yarn Geeks channel. And um, next week we'll be at Melanie's channel and she's hooked to the left. So if you don't ever want to miss a Yarn Hookers, um, go down to my links below and click on both of their channels and subscribe because if you're subscribed to all three of us you're always going to get a notification and you'll never miss yarn hookers live 
So that'll be good, right? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you have a great, great day. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully on Saturday. And if not, I'll be right back here again with Car Chat on Tuesday. So take care. Have a great, great day. And I'll see you later.